In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your microphone on Windows 11 and test it. So to get to this page, what you want to do is select this sound option at the bottom, right click it and go to sound settings. Now once you're here, you'll see the output, which is the noise that's coming from your PC into your headphones and input, which is what our microphone is. So let's first have a look at our input. Now you'll see a couple different options likely of the different inputs you can use. For example, if you were to have had a webcam as well as a separate microphone, you'll likely have two options. Now, if you don't see your microphone here, what I want you to do is go to pair a new input device by selecting add device and selecting the option that is relevant to you. Now, a lot of headphones nowadays do have Bluetooth, so this might be the option, and you can always go to everything else if you're not exactly sure. Now, once you've connected it, you will see it here under input, and this is where you can actually click on it. In this case, I'm using a Shure MV7 mic. When I press on this, this is going to bring up a number of different options. So I always recommend you check for driver updates by clicking on this link at the top, just in case there is any for your microphone, because sometimes updates can really mess with your mic. Now, once you've done that, we can look at the input settings. As far as the format goes, Windows does a great job of selecting the best one, 48,000 Hertz, studio quality, one channel and 24 bits. Now you'll notice immediately under input volume, you can actually see my mic working right now. So this is the volume of the microphone, which you can adjust. I'm using a much lower setting. However, you can increase this a lot if you are having difficulties actually hearing your microphone when you're using it for whatever issue or thing. Now, when it comes to testing your microphone, you'll also notice it right here, test your microphone. So if you start the test, you'll notice immediately that this bar, it's already been moving, but it's also testing it as well to see that you're using the correct volume. So when I stop this test here, it'll tell me I'm currently using 55% of the total volume. And of course I could increase this if it's too quiet when I'm using applications. Now, once you've done that, we're gonna go back up to the sound option here. I recommend that you ensure your volume is up as well on output and that the device is correct, similar to input. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, we have a couple of options here. Under this advanced tab, you can actually troubleshoot common sound problems for the input and output devices. So if you wanna check your microphone, just simply go to input devices, and this will go through a little bit of a checkup process to try and detect any problems. Here you'll see the microphone that you're likely using. Me, I'm using the Shure MB7. However, if I go to next, it's likely just going to say we couldn't identify the problem simply because the microphone is actually working. But if you did have any problems, this might help you here. Now we're going to close this and when it comes to some other options, if we go to the volume mixer, this is going to show us the master volume on our system, which you can always turn up if you're having difficulties hearing or maybe your input device isn't loud enough. And here we can see all the different applications. So if you're ever having issues on a specific application for your microphone, try adjusting the volume tab here. And if you're ever unsure and you're having difficulties, you can always reset the sound devices and volumes for all apps to the recommended defaults. Now we go back to sound here. I don't believe we've had a look at this one, all sound devices. This will just show all of the output devices as well as all of the input devices. And this is where you'll notice your microphone. And again, it brings you back to this page here. So once you've added this new device, we'll go back to sound. You see that the volume's working, you've tested it. You now know that your microphone is working on your Windows 11 PC.